welcome to my channel. Today's episode is going to be my plant update where I'm going to show you how to repot a plant no matter what plant it happens to be. So stay tuned if you want to find out how to do that correctly. Hello guys and welcome to my plant update. In today's episode, I will show you how to repot a plant, no matter what plant it is, that requires soil. Um, so at the end of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to repot a plant. And the plant I'm repotting today is going to be my Ponsetta. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm going to go over the rest of my plants and then I'll meet you outside to do the repotting plant. So. We are going to start today with the Christmas and Easter cactuses. So these are the Easter cactuses right here, which look amazing right now. They are just growing leaves, which is what you want from a cactus when it's not time for them to start giving blooms, which is really good. Like I said, every morning or every day, if you have them, to check the soil. If the soil feels a little bit wet, um, leave them alone. If it feels dry, definitely need to give it a little bit more water. So here is the Christmas cactus. So here's my Christmas cactus right there. This guy is just growing leaves like crazy, which is what you want this time of year from a Christmas cactus. A Christmas cactus, when it's not in season, is going to grow lots and lots of leaves, which is what you want. You can um, populate them if you want to. Um, I don't have enough room to actually be doing that right now, so once I get a little more room, I would definitely show you guys how to do that as well. Um, but it's really, really simple to do. It's not very, very difficult to do. Here's another Christmas cactus. Um, if you want to have more Christmas cactuses, which I'll probably get soon, is you just want to cut one leaf off right at the base right there where in between the leaves and you just put it in soil and that's it that's all you need to do really is just put it in soil and let it grow and water natural as you would with your other plants and that's pretty much it so this Christmas cast is looking quite well um, again you should get in the habit of checking the soil of your plants every morning should definitely start doing that so you're in the habit of doing it that way you always know if your plants need water that day or not see i know my plants well enough that i can actually like look at the soil and tell if it's dry or not sometimes i have a little difficulty but i usually can tell so here's this christmas cactus and it's growing these leaves right here which is amazing right now and here is my other easter cactus and as you can tell, it's growing leaves like crazy. So you definitely want to keep an eye on it. The leaves are growing like crazy. This was an Easter cactus. So Easter has come and gone. So all you can expect from all your cactuses at this point in the year is to just grow leaves. That's pretty much it. Here is my aloe plant right here. My aloe plant is doing quite well. We got leaves growing and everything. It's really, really good. Um, again, water it when it needs it. Um, and if you can't always do that, I suggest getting the potting soil that I currently use, which is Miracle Grow Moisture Control, which will water your plants as it's needed so it's never overwatered or underwatered at all. But you do have to at least water it at least once a week to make sure that they're getting enough um, soil enough water so now we're gonna move on to my orchids and then when I'm done talking about my orchids I will meet you guys outside to do the repotting of the pond setup so first here is my dune edition that I showed you guys last week and the bud bloomed it's so pretty so everything is looking good the water is doing quite well um, I might need to fill it up again because it's drinking lots and lots of water, which is a very good sign for a new orchid who is being 
I commented to the water culture. So that's really, really good sign it was drinking lots of water. So here is this guy. This leaf is growing quite well. Um, there's possible buds on this one, which is exciting. And I gotta refill this water as well. It's almost gone, which is insane right now. So next is this guy. I don't need to refill the water on this guy, and this leaf is growing quite well right there. It's still pretty small, but it's growing. It's always, always a good sign. And the water is still pretty, pretty good. Um, I don't need to put my water in it just yet, but we have this root right here. This is a root. You get some of those with orchids. They, some of them, like they have roots that grow in the air. It's just the way they, they roll, apparently. <laughs> so here's this one. And this leaf is steadily growing. It keeps growing. And it looks like I need to put my water in this guy and possible buds right there. Possible buds. So now we can move on to my next one, my baby one, which, oh my goodness, it has no more water. <laughs> the water is completely gone. So I definitely got to put more water in this guy. Oh my goodness, the water is gone. But it is growing like crazy right now. But that's insane. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting to wake up this morning with this orchid with no water. So that one definitely needs more water. So then we got this one right here, which the new leaf is coming out. The new leaf right there. Oh my goodness, it's growing it's so nice right now. And the root, the run root that's in water is growing many, many secondary roots, which is amazing. Which is why I love. It's gonna grow many more roots, which means it's gonna have more roots in the water, which means it will be drinking lots and lots of water. So, now we're gonna go outside and I'm gonna show you how to repot a plant, no matter what sort of plant it is, as long as you use soil. And I'm gonna show you how I'm going to uh, repot my Setup. Okay guys, welcome. We're outside and we're going to repot this poncetta right here. I will move the camera down in just a second to show you what I'm exactly doing. But I looked at my calendar and this is the month of May. This is when you're supposed to repot it if it needs it and I'm going to say it's going to need it. Uh, and then they say to start fertilizing it every two weeks which is what I'm gonna start doing. Um, and they also say to pinch the branches to encourage growth, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't, to me it's like hurting the plant and I don't wanna hurt the plant. So I'm not going to be pinching the branches. Um, today I'm just gonna repot it and we're just gonna go from there. I have this big pot right here. So I'm gonna come in with the camera and then we'll get started on how to repot a plant with soil. Okay, so now we're back. I got the pot right here. I have the poncetta right here. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna fill half of this container with soil. You always wanna do half. It's always the best method that I found is to do half. I have the potting soil right here. Um, I'm not sponsored by this company, but I love this soil, which is the miracle Grow Potting Soil Moisture Control. That's the one I was been telling you about earlier, and like every week since I've been doing this. So we are going to put some soil in there, maybe, if I can get this to work. I did cut a little foot, but apparently that's not big enough. Let's try this now. There we go. So we're feeling about half the way of the pot and soil to the container. There we go. So that's about half right there. So now what we're gonna do is, this is where you're gonna be tedious, but it's worth it. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to 
through the container like that to loosen up the poncetta. And then I usually pull from the stem like that. And then what you want to do is you want to gently start moving the soil around. Gently, gently like that. That way the poncetta is going to have room to grow. So now what you want to do, I am just going to use this container. Where's the water? I'm just going to use this container to take the soil from the bag and put it into the pot. That way it doesn't cover the plant and it's going to be a whole mess. So you just want to take a little bit at a time and put in until the poncetta is covered. So I'm going all around the poncetta right now, just to make sure the poncetta is covered from all sides. And then when I get to once way around, I'm gonna start patting down the soil. All right. So once you have the soil around the poncetta, what I like to do is I like to pat it down just a bit. Like that. Just patting it down. If you hear some noise in the background, it's the squirrels in the tree. <laughs> they are chasing each other today. So I'm just patting it down. And I'm going I'm going to put a little bit more so in there just so it's leveled out a bit because mine is a little bit unsteady which I don't want. So I'm going to put some soil over here. Like that I'm going to pat it down to hopefully stabilize the poncetta. And then I'm going to put some on the other side. That way it's fully stabilized and won't be moving around at all. So now we're going to put some on this side. Like that. And we're going to pat it down. Just like that. And as you can see, it looks stabilized. It looks much better than it was. So now I'll we have to do is just water it, put some water on it. I like to do the water around where the poncetta is like that. I do tap water usually. And then starting this week, I will be fertilizing it. So I'll see you guys back in the house and show you how everything's doing. Okay guys, we are back inside. I have the pond setter right here in this big, beautiful pot right here. I just watered it. You always want to water it after you repot it so it has some water to exercise itself. So, like I said, they said to pinch the branches. Um, that's not something I actually feel comfortable doing to it right now. I am going to do some more research on that and by next week I will let you guys know if pinching the branches is a good idea or not. That one site says to pinch it to encourage growth. Um, I'm not so sure about that. So I'm going to do some research on that and I'll get back to you guys about that. And next week we shall see how much this baby has grown since I have repotted it, put it in a bigger pot so it can grow, give more leaves, and hopefully by Christmas it'll give us wonderful little flowers that we can look at during the season of Christmas. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it, share it to grow our community, and share if you have a friend who's thinking about repotting a plant but does not know how to do it share this video so they can see how I do it, how I get it done. It's really simple. Um, but for people who have never done it before, it can be a little bit difficult or you don't know where to start. 
share this video with them so they can see how it gets done. And I'll see you guys next week for a new video. And subscribe if you are new here. Hit that red button down below to subscribe. And hit the bell. And I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.